so beautiful so elegant just looking like a wow it's about time we actually did this right you people know intel has just launched their 14th gen cpus just a few days ago and people have been bombarding in my comment section in my recent videos asking vimal bro where is your intel 14th gen pc build and guess what that is what exactly we'll be doing in this video and today's video we are actually building a very special sort of pc one of a kind i would say this is an all intel 14th gen gaming pc build and by all intel what i mean is not just the cpu the gpu will be using is also from intel guys remember how can you forget intel's arc series a770 and a750 gpus we will be using something like that and i'm like very excited and curious to see how this hardware performs at the end of 2023 intel has been releasing lots of driver updates so i'm very curious to see what sort of improvements we can see right now keeping that aside you might ask what is new on intel's 14th gen platform to be honest guys 14th gen is not a major upgrade to their previous gen a uh, more like a refreshed version of their 13th gen cpus with subtle improvements like you know boosted clock frequencies so they're basically pretty much similar cpus they've announced like six variants of the cpus 3k series and 3kf series i5 i7 and i9 if you look at i5 and i9 right they're pretty much the same cpus just like last time with only slightly improved higher clock frequencies and i9 being able to hit like 6 gigahertz out of the box only major improvement and also major thing we can actually check out is the i7 cpu because i7 has finally been upgraded with some additional cores so previously we had around like 16 cores right now on the 14th gen you're getting 20 cores 28 threads on this thing so this is like a monster of its own and i am assuming performance might be very close to intel's 13th gen i9 who knows i don't know we'll have to check out the performance and benchmarks in this video so i'm like very curious about that so in the house also we have their i7 variant only in the 14th gen platform 14700k so this is what we'll be reviewing and using for this pc build that was basically the whole concept of today's video so first of all let me give you like a closer look and talk about all the configuration and components we'll be using for today's gaming pc cpu that i have already told you we're using intel's i7 14700k it's a 20 core 28 thread monster still based on their performance hybrid architecture only and intel 7 process and has some slightly improved clock frequencies compared to the previous gen and also cache has been slightly improved to over like 33 mb of smart cache coming to the motherboard we have a special motherboard in the house and this one is from or it's their all new z790 oras pro x now since intel's 14th gen is still based on lga 1700 socket you can use both 600 series and 700 series motherboard for this cpu with a small bios update now gpu that i've already told you we have intel arc a770 that has up to like 16 gigs of vram and comes at a very affordable price tag of only around like 32 33000 and today in this video we'll be talking about the performance how does it perform after the recent uh, driver updates from intel if you talk about the ram we are using an ultra fast ddr five ram with up to 6000 megahertz clock frequencies from team t4 this is the delta rgb edition 32 gb 16 into 2 if you ask about the cooler well intel's 14th gen chips are slightly on the hotter side only and cooling this i7 is no joke guys you cannot rely on a 120 or 240 mm coolers that is the reason we are going with a 360 mm aio cooler from antec this is their new vortex 360 aio cooler comes with beautiful argb lighting ring rgb fans and also has like a spiral head rgb lighting on the pump head If you talk about the power supply we are going for an 850 watt power supply for this sort of configuration a 750 watt power supply would also be enough but we are going with an 850 watt 80 plus gold rated power supply from NZXT and lastly coming to the cabinet cabinet is also a new model from Antec it's a latest design model is called as Performance 1 FT it's a full tower case that even supports up to like E ATX motherboards and has beautiful design guys look at the front mesh panel over here it also comes with a real time status display that shows you CPU and GPU temperatures also on the case. You people be prepared to blow your mind once the PC is done. So that was it. Basically, the whole configuration and theme of this PC that we'll be building today. Without wasting any more time, let's quickly get started with the video.
and finally guys our pc is all done and here's how it looks like oh ho 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 now that is a fine looking pc i've told you right this is more like a black and white concept and man that new case from antec looks awesome especially that front panel straight slaps your eyeballs no cap guys plenty of air circulation and ventilation is also there so a system can run cool plus not to miss out that special status display at the top side that can show both cpu and gpu temperatures in real time and wait a second hold up it's not just about the exteriors look at the interiors as well and boy that aorus pro X motherboard from Gigabyte is a beautiful looking one especially that white color finish right if you plan like a full white theme build it's going to look absolutely slapping but since this is like a black and white theme it still looks pretty great i would say case well matches with the overall theme Not to miss out Intel's Arc GPU with that RGB lighting, T4 Delta RGB RAM, and also that Vortex 360 AI from Antec. So beautiful, so elegant, just looking like a wow. Anyways, just have a look at these beautiful shots, and I hope you enjoy the video. I've run a couple of benchmark apps like Cinebench, Geekbench, and here are the results. Starting off with Geekbench 6, Intel's i7 14700K got a single core score of 3005 and a whopping multi-core score of around 20451. Not bad, guys. 14th gen i7 definitely looks quite promising. If you compare it with the previous gen i7, 13th gen i7, here are the results. Let's also check out Cinebench 2024 scores as well. 117 points single core segment and 1823. points in the multi core segment there is definitely a big lead in the performance especially in the multi threaded benchmark segment compared to the 13th gen i7 because they've added like four extra cores right making total core count of 20 cores from 16 cores you will definitely see an improvement in this segment almost like 16 to 17% improvement is there in multi core section single threaded performance is pretty close i would say 13th gen to 14th gen hardly 2 to 3% improvement and compared to the competition 14th gen i7 is the fastest chip in the 7 series segment beaten even the Ryzen 7 7700X leagues ahead especially in the multi threaded benchmarks and even gives tough competition to Ryzen 9 7900X also now moving on let's get into the gaming section as i've told you main reason we went ahead with Arc A770 is Intel has been pushing lots of driver updates in the last couple of months and has constantly been improving the performance and today we'll actually see how the A770 performs towards the end of 2023 Arc A770 is priced around like 32000 33000 right now in the market and offers up to 16 gb of vram compared to the competition guys and closest to competitor to this gpu is rtx 4060 i would say which is similarly priced again though despite having large amount of memory vram is not everything in real world right optimization also matters so that is what we'll be testing out in these benchmarks starting off with our all time favorite spider man remastered this pc configuration is made for like ultra smooth 1080p gaming and yes you can even do a bit of ray tracing in certain titles and basic 1440p gaming is also possible so we'll be testing out all these resolutions right now so in this first test right we're playing the game at 1080p resolution very high graphics and ray tracing is off right now and on an average as you can see we were getting around 115 to 120 fps not bad very good results actually a smooth and consistent frame rate muska gaming experience guys looks like they've sorted out those random jitters and stutters which i actually faced during the initial testing phase of this gpu so that is definitely a positive sign let me just show you a chart of all the games i tested on a770 on this particular test bench setup so you people get like a full idea where does it stand compared to rtx 4060 in 1080p level gaming okay scores look very interesting right i mean rk770 is given a very tough competition to RTX 4060 it's actually leading in some titles and closely follows the 4060 in a couple of other titles was totally not expecting these sort of results though 4060 is still undisputed in a couple of games like Cyberpunk Spider-Man Dead Island 2 and more but still Intel Arc is definitely catching up I'd say in fact they're aging like fine wine in 2023 let's see where it actually goes in 2024 
Games like Starfield are still a bit unoptimized for the Arc platform, but 80% of the other titles were working very well over here, and I'm actually quite pleased with the overall gaming results on this setup. You can easily do 1080p very high to ultra level gaming with a bit of ray tracing in certain titles like Spider Man, and basic 1440p gaming is also possible at medium level graphics. Intel's 14th gen i7 was also performing very well in the gaming section, but honestly, if you compare it with the 13th gen i7, there's not much of performance difference especially in the gaming section I would say. You'll see that performance difference only in like multi-threaded or creative sort of applications which will actually use those 4 extra physical cores. And coming to the thermals I do have to mention this chip definitely runs a bit hot. Despite using a 360mm powerful AIO, the CPU was running around like 65 to 70 degrees centigrade. A 120mm or 240mm AIO is not suitable for this sort of setup or this CPU to keep the thermals in check. Thankfully, Antex Vortex 360 AIO was doing a great job over here. So that is pretty much it. This is what I wanted to show you all in this video. An all Intel PC powered by their new 14th Gen i7 and also Arc A770 GPU. What do you people think? Share your thoughts in the comment section down below. Would you give Intel a chance with the A770 in 2024? Or would you still go for like 4060 with lower VRAM? And if you ask about the CPU's verdict, see if you're using already like a 12th Gen platform or 13th Gen PC setup, right? Upgrading to 14th Gen from that wouldn't make any sense at all. But if you're actually coming from an older gen hardware maybe like 9th gen or 10th gen setup right then you will definitely see like huge difference in the performance you'll actually be blown away by the results the i7 14700k costs around like 40,000 rupees in the indian market i'll leave links to that in the description box below you can check it out there so that's it i hope you all enjoyed watching the video and got full information make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more such awesome videos and i'll see you all in my next one